If you have young kids playing baseball, now is a great time of the year to teach them the fundamentals of the game. Chris Reckling joins us now with some of the best baseball minds in Hampton Roads to discuss the importance of playing the game the right way. The game of baseball is learned through repetition, but if your motion in throwing, hitting, or even running is wrong, you could be setting your young player up for disappointment as he progresses in this game. Now, there are so many kids that love the game and have fun, but for some reason, somewhere along the line, they miss that opportunity to learn those fundamentals. At this week's first Colonial Baseball Camp, young players brush up on the fundamentals. Patriots coach Scott Stubby says by the time players get to high school, habits such as throwing motion is hard to reverse. I think one of the, the toughest things to change when a kid gets to high school, if you see a kid that comes out with, a, with the incorrect throwing motion and he could, be, he could be fast, he could have a lot of athletic ability, but if he can't throw correctly, a lot of times that's going to put him behind and it's going make, make it, to make it difficult for him. It doesn't, doesn't seal the deal, but it makes it very difficult to catch up. Maury head coach Paul Schaus knows that in this game, perfect practice can lead to perfect play. You know, our sport is a hand-eye coordination sport that tends to cater to kids that aren't as fast. If we see kids that can run, we definitely want to give them a second look and hopefully see if we can make them into better baseball players. Longtime baseball coach Norby Wilson has been teaching the game of baseball for nearly four decades. Here is his biggest piece of advice for parents hoping to see their kid go far in baseball. Number one thing, number one thing has to be their academics. It's a horrible situation as a coach uh, to have a very good athlete that cannot get in school. Uh, you know, they won't have options when they get to their senior year. So they're always asking me and I tell them, number one, academics. Number two is what are they doing with their spare time. In Virginia Beach, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.